two, three, right? Or you always have an idea was a one, two, three, right? But when you do it, some of you guys are getting it. It's not, it's hard to do this and then hop. It's hard to do that. So as this foot is coming up, that's how you get your momentum to hop. Or if you're your regular thing when I get that's how you get your shooting in. If you do this, and try to hop when you dice the guy up, that's gonna be hard to do. Try to do this, this, and then hopping is hard. But this is easy, right? So you get that momentum. This is exactly. All right, but I had to demonstrate it one step at a time so you understand what's happening. But when you're doing it, now you guys get better at it. It's kind of one motion here, right? Here. I'm kind of exaggerating on hop a little bit so you can just see it's kind of all one motion, right? And when I do the same thing, here, right. don't think of it as three individual steps because you'll never get it. By the time you do one, your bones are raised off. Right. So just keep that in mind right. <laughs> as you practice. Okay. Uh, let me just demonstrate the Nemoza techniques, and then we'll go right into Nemoza method. Walking got this nice uh, arm bar. So I'm a still freaking basic walking guy from here, right? Grab a wrist, turn this Walking guy. Okay. Now, um, it looks easier than it really is to do to get, but if you're down here, grab it. When you're standing, you can actually, the rule of arm bars is if you get an arm bar standing enough, you have to finish it standing up. I can't go to, down to the ground. Right. So that means he has to tap before I go down. That's really hard to do. As soon as you do this, he's going to go down to the ground and stop it. You got to let go. Okay. So they kind of pretty much outlawed, uh, just by the rules, they outlawed standing armor. Right. Because too many guys are getting armor, especially with this one here. Too many guys are just going, bang. Right. It's on the Olympics. Uh, Saito, the fight the Korean guy. He went out and grabbed a guy like this. The Korean guy just grabbed it. Bam! Broke his arm before he could do anything. This was in his elbow. He went out there, put it between his legs, put it back in there. Finished the match, went back out there, went out to the ground. The Korean guy went like this. Went, boom! <laughs> <laughs> put it back up and hit it. We lost his hand. I thought it was going to But so you can't do standing arm. So, when you're down on the ground, Okay, walking guys are I think the best time to do walking guys are is when they're down here. If you're working, you're working here. Actually, most of the time you really don't get walking guys It's by accident, okay? I mean, you just kind of fall into it. But to get it, usually from a chicken wing, is probably the easiest way to get even these flat down and stuff. But chicken wing is this. You can get your arms in here, and your wrist, pulling it out this way. Throwing weight on the floor here, the arm is up there. Walk you. Do this side. It's not easy to do. What you're doing is you're fighting, you're fighting. Most guys have come out here. Got a lot of weight on. All these up, elbow, arms up, forearm, and walking at them. Okay. Just let you know what walking at them is. All right. And the other, the pin was Ushiro Kesgatame. Right. This is Kesgatame. No one knows Kesgatame. Ushiro. It's reverse Kesgatame. Right. Reverse Kesgatame. This way, or. Either way, it's the Ushiro Kesgatame. Okay. When did you get this position? Come on, right? You oh. the top. You grab the elbow, you roll. Ushiro Kesgatame. Right here. Lock this arm tight. Twist tight. Wrap your ribs really tight in his and you're pulling close. Keep going. This is pretty hard pin to hold because he's got so much freedom with his legs and his arms. Uh, it's pretty easy to get out. But from this one, I call this a transition pin. You start it, but you get the cycle meet, and he starts moving, trying to get out. That's when he transitions. Okay? But you should know what push stroke has got on this. Right? Any questions? Okay. Walk you guys in? The basic arm bar is like this. You got the arm. Stand up, please. This way. Oh, the other side here. That's basic walk together. Okay. But there's no usually not many opportunities when you're fighting to get this by the time you do this, you're not gonna get it, right? So 
So what happens is a lot of times when you're going down, sometimes you might get this way, this way, this way. But I think the best way to get it is from a chicken wing. Put it down flat. You're working here. You might get this here. You might get your hand in there. Two hands on one. If you get this, and he brings his arm out here, fish. Right there. Keep way on top of him. Got that. There are a lot of times it happens, I just don't remember how. <laughs> I get it, it just happens. You, you're rolling on, you get it. Do yeah. you think of any other entries that work together? Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing it stand and stand down. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the most common one I've seen. Break your grip off. Yeah, I break the grip off and then take the back and then I just collapse on it. There it is, right there. Yep. Actually, you're right. There is, yeah, Maji does that sometimes too. But it's not really walking out the way, it's here. Kick it out with your knee. Oh, yeah. Here. There it is. But usually you think they'll take it from here with a leg on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're very rarely does it come to this part. <laughs> <laughs> So from here, you sit, sit through with your knee. Kick it out this way. Get your weight on time. Just kick it out here. Arm is there. Here. Sit here. Sit through. Separate his head and arm. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Right. Lucky you got me. Right. So what we're going to do now is to pick to get a partner. We'll do three minutes. We're going to start from standing. One person's going to throw. As soon as he hits the ground, you're going to start to nail walls around Dougie. All right? All right. So get a partner. Thank you, David.